that preach the gospel. Oh, yeah. No matter how much I run and how much I hide, he always ends up catching me. Oh, yeah. Come on, yeah. Say he saw me. He saw me. He saw me. No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Yeah. Didn't say that it wouldn't form, amen. Yeah. Things are gonna happen, amen. Yeah. Some things are gonna go wrong. Yeah. But there is a Jesus, hallelujah, that died on Calvary's cross yeah. for you and I that we may have a second chance at life. Come on, somebody, put your hands together. Going through what you're dealing with, what devils is about it about you. When you call on the name of Jesus, things happen. He saw me, he saw me, he saw me. He saw me. Get yourselves together. Take a look at yourself. We ain't all got it all together. Amen. That's a work in us. Amen. That can be done so that the power of the Holy Ghost can become stronger. Hallelujah. We need to unify, stick together, come together, be together, togetherness. Amen? Amen. That's what the church is about. It ain't about separation and confusion, all that mess is of the enemy. God ain't seeing that. He's seeing it, but he don't want nothing to do with it. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man, somebody say, any man. That mean any of us. He'll come in and he'll suck with you. He'll give you the desires of your heart. He will bless you so abundantly. That when those old folks see amen, they say you're snooty and get your nose up in there. But that ain't the case. The case is you didn't left. You didn't moved on. You're a bigger person now. And they still where they was when you left in there. So don't let nobody make you feel bad about where you're going in Jesus. He's looking down on you. He's loving you. He's waiting on some of you. Some of you just to bend your knee and call on him. Amen. Call on the name of Jesus. I'm pressing toward the mark of the higher calling, which is in Jesus Christ. And I can't do it all by myself. I need you and you need me. Amen. And when we come together, we can get it done. You see, saints of God, God is not interested in fault finders. Hallelujah. Hypocritical saints and pool pit pimps and Hollywood musicians. And this ain't Broadway, baby. This is the house of the Lord. This is the kingdom of Christ. And when we get that in our minds, amen, and it becomes saturated within our soul, then God will give us the keys to the kingdom of heaven, which is eternal life. But while you're here on earth, amen, you ought to have the power, amen, to step out on the water. You ought to have the power to unlock the doors. Come on here, somebody. You ought to have the power to walk in and come out whenever you get ready because Jesus has given you the keys to the kingdom. Somebody say he saw me. Jesus saw me and he sees you too. Amen. Give your life back to God. Return unto your first love. And if he wasn't your first love, amen, make him your love now. Know that he is who you say he is. Know within your heart he done what he did when he went to the cross. And will you believe that? Come on in. Amen. He said, if we keep our mind stayed on him, then he will keep us in perfect peace. If you ain't got no peace, it could be because you're not keeping your mind on Jesus. It's simple. It's not hard. Keep your mind stayed on him. When the storms and the waves begin to rumble and seem like they're getting ready to overtake you. Might seem like you're in the boat sleeping. Maybe you know what's going on. He's in control of all. Just know that he's in control of your own life, not you. I love y'all. Keep me in your prayers.